I have got a wonderful route lined up for you today. It uses gravel roads, very small roads, it's got exciting descents, brilliant climbs and takes in three grit stone edges. I am a woman on the edge and it's flipping brilliant up here, great terrain, rocky riding, I am loving it. I started near the Longshore Estate, for anybody who doesn't know, that's just outside Hathersage, and I've just got myself onto the Houndskirk Old Road, which is a brilliant gravel route. It's wonderful, and actually I'm on a section here where there's really quite deep sand, which is a cyclocross rider's delight. So actually I really quite enjoy stuff like that. I love Houndskirk Road. It's really gnarly in places. If you just use, choose your route, really, if you're on a gravel bike. I mean, I'm only on 38 millimetre tyres and thought it was fine. I do like a challenge, though. But it's brilliant, really good fun. I'm just on a quiet road now down to Red Myers Reservoir and then up onto Stanage. So yeah, really, really nice, lovely little roads. Uh, it's a lovely ride and Houndskirt Road was ace. And here is one of the uh, reservoirs at Red Myers. Nice, eh? Bit chilly today. Gonna carry on just past this reservoir and then off road once more onto a gravel trail up towards Stunnage Pole, which is very nice. <laughs> This here is the little track that goes up to Stanage Pole. A uh, bit gnarly, you can go for slabs or you can weave yourself in and out the rocks. Um, yeah, just choose your weapon and <laughs> kind of off you go. So behind me here is Stanage Pole and it's actually an old boundary marker for the end of Derbyshire and into South Yorkshire. I don't quite know whether it goes this way or this way, I don't have a clue. But anyway, as you can see, it is a very popular lunch spot today. So I'm gonna chug on and get on the long causeway, which goes down the front of uh, Stanage Edge. I'm off now on a small road which is hilly and beautiful down towards the Burbridge Valley and then on to the Longshore Estate where if you wanted a coffee there is a little cafe. I am on a monstrous hill on the road. It's really nice. It's just nice smooth. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. And I think up here I turn right and I drop down towards Burbage and the Longshore Estate. So it will be gorgeous. Ha. 
I'm in the Burbage Valley on a concessionary path, which last time I came here, you know, bikes just weren't allowed on. And it's been part of an initiative in this area. So you've got this concessionary path going down from the Burbage Valley. And then there's a couple, the other side of the Longshore Estate, which we're gonna get on later on as well. God, it's just so nice. Look, look, lovely track in amazing scenery here. Here I am at the Longshore Estate Cafe. Good place to start and get topped up. I'm on White Edge now, and I've found my idea of Nirvana. It's this house. It doesn't have a proper road to it, only a gravel track that I've just cycled on, and uh, no neighbours. <laughs> Does that make me uh, like a Victor Meldrew? Yeah, probably. <laughs> what a brilliant bit! <laughs> You're right. Wheels, oh no, still circular. <laughs> have fun! This is Frogger Edge. Starts off quite a nice sort of, yeah, just sort of mud trap, really. Dry mud, admittedly, <laughs> today. Uh, and then, as soon as I get out of these trees, I think then it's a little bit more gnarly. But I think it's just a case of choosing the route, really. And for the sake of the rest of the ride, and the rest of this track really, you know, just negotiate that bit really. I don't know, I might surprise myself actually. <laughs> I might just plow through it. It has been a long time since I've been through here. So let's go and find out. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> I am a woman on the edge, actually Frogger Edge turning into Kerber Edge and then I'm going to cross over and go to Bartolo Edge. It's wonderful up here, there's a bit of rocky ride, a bit of technical, flick flacking around the trail, trees in the route, but it's dry, amazing views, you will love it, it's beautiful and actually I really like this type of riding so we <laughs> what a great way to finish the latter part of this ride pretty cool I love it up here on Kerber Edge the secret is if you've not done this sort of stuff before choose the route look ahead all the time and be moving around the trail and then know when to be able to accelerate to get you over any little tricky bits so you always need to be in the right gear so you can get loads of revs but it's brilliant actually <laughs> and you work really hard without sort of uh, i was gonna say any effort but with kind of out thinking about it i can't explain it just drives you on yeah and you feel pretty cool really when you get up to the top yeah <laughs> especially when you've seen other people on full sus <laughs> anyway it's brilliant <laughs> easily pleased i'm at kerber gap now and i'd like to recommend this fantastic coffee uh they sell here pretty good right i'm gonna cross the road now and go round to Baslow edge and then i'm not a million miles away from finishing the route 
with it getting dark, I've had to make a dash for the car. But this is an absolutely wonderful ride. 26 miles, you've got gravel roads, you've got open moorland, great descents, great climbing and small roads as well. Really, really wonderful. You do need some off-road skills though. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And I love reading your comments, particularly if you get to do this route. Take care, have fun, see you soon.